Hey man, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. You already know it's your host with the most street near the representative, man, and we still at it, man. We at the Socket Talk Podcast, man. Season two, man. You already know. And guess what, man? We got business owners in the building. If you a business owner, tap in with us. Oh, yeah, I got to remember not to do that. Tap in with us if you're a business owner, small or big. Let us help you push your business. Uh, Roku, Fire Stick, YouTube, many outlets. And if you want to get a slot in the Combine magazine, tap in with us. You know what I'm saying? We're going up the strong way. But, man, we got the one and only Nelson Trimble in the building. Yeah. What it do, Nelson, man? I finna do that Bobby Smurf. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey man, what it do, Nelson? Man, good to have you in the building, man. man. Yes, Bless sir. Yes, hey, sir. Man. Yes, sir. Hey, what it do? What it do, Nelson? Tell the people who you is. Hey man, I'm Nelson Trumbo. I was born from my mama, and I came out my dad. Hey, <laughs> that poet. Hey, hey, nah, man. Nelson Trumbo, the owner of Popular Lane Clothing, um, CEO, um, Popular Lane Gang, on um, nonprofit Fusion Movement, um, spoken word artist, just overall. Just go get it, man. Hey, man. That's what the business is. That's what. So, what is Popular Lane? Popular Lane, man. Yeah, you know when we were growing up, we. Well, my goal in life is to turn negatives into positives. Okay. So when we were coming up, if somebody called you a lane, you'd be ready to fight. You sure would. You know what I mean? So um, we just turned it around. Legends are made every day. We gave it another meaning. Mm. So we gave it a popular meaning. You know what I mean? So it's okay to be lame mm. because the cool kids, well, I say lanes live longer. Mm. Facts. Lanes live long. Facts. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You don't want to be cool and dead. Right. You want to be a popular lane. Amen. Okay. You remember back in the days when they used to be in school, the one who used to be the the the, the one with the glasses, do all the studying, all that stuff. He was lame, but right now some new one, the millionaire. Hey, Amen. <laughs> I know a few on myself. Hey, Amen. <laughs> that would have been the same. So, man, tell the people where you're from, Nelson Trump. Um, born and raised in Atlanta, Georgia, west side to the east side, Bankhead, Kirkwood. Okay. Um, I've been, a, I guess, a, what you say, the earth of my turf. I'm a little muddy. I've been all over, everywhere around this mud, from Stone Mountain to um, Airwell. Okay. Just put Airwell. Okay. So it ain't no particular play. Come on, kind of moved around a little bit. But Atlanta is my home. I'm a Georgia boy, in and out. Hey, man. Um, I was doing some research on you. I see that you, you know, used to be, you and Shouty Low, y'all used to be close. Um, you even spoke at his um, funeral. Did you, get, you yeah, gave a couple yeah, words yeah. at his funeral? funeral yeah. hey, it looked like it was a big, you you spoke in front of a lot of people. Um, yeah. How was that experience with him, you know, passing away and you and him being close? I always, um, you know what I mean? That, it, was, it, was, it was bittersweet. They say that. Mm. You know what I mean? Because I had been knowing low before the music. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I was tied in with the family and stuff. So I watched the the old low and then become to the shorty low. Mm. And one thing about it, I always told him I could write music. Right. But we never uh, ever got a chance to do anything while he was living. Right. You know what I mean? But I heard all his new music when it was coming. You know, you, he'll let me listen to it, but we never got a chance to do it. Um, and, and how... You know what I mean? I ain't gonna say coincidental, just how unfortunate he gave me my biggest stage at his death. Mm. That was like what ten thousand in the church, ten million watching. But um, he gave me my biggest stage in his death. Um, but it was a um, it was a beautiful home going. Mm. It was just too soon for it. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 Still was a young man. I understand that, man. R.I.P. Shout out, Lord. I actually know a couple of his children. Come on. Um, it's fun. It's funny because like I really had a lot of respect for Shout out, Lord, because you yeah. know I'm from the street, so Shout out, Lord with the man growing up. So Definitely. you know, kind of looked up to him in different ways. And I used to, it was a time when I wanted to sign with Shouty Low. Okay. You know, I remember he had on um, they had they had on um, G Unit. Okay, G -Unit come on. South, you know what I'm saying? You know, 
And um, I never got a chance to meet him, but I got a chance to meet all of his children. I, well, not all of I, I Brittany, the daughter, mm-hmm. um, Junior, uh, and Quando. You know Quando, what I'm saying? Yeah. Got to know him. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to all of them. You know what I'm saying? So, so. you know, that's where the business is. So, Nelson, you've been, you been to the West Side. You, you've been to Kirkwood. You've been moving around. You always been into flavor and fashion. What made you come up with this popular Lane Gang clothing? Um, man, I was dealing with a chick at the time, and we just knew it. We were sleeping with everybody when we were coming up. We knew each <laughs> other from back in the days, and we were like, nah, man, nah, I wasn't doing all that. And we were like, man, we're just a popular lames. And we put it on the shirt, and it got a, a nice little reception to it. Mm. So I was like, what else can we do to it to make it go over the top? And then well, that's when we added the character. And when we added the character, mm-hmm. it um, took off. We was able to get it. Our first year, we were able to get it in Phillips, well, Saks, well, not Saks Phillips, but on um, Phillips Plaza. Okay. And Phillips Plaza on um, Rashida and Kirk on um, store. Shout out to Rashida and Kirk for believing in us and on um, carrying our line in that store. Um, shout out to Block Entertainment, Big Block, for um, hooking that up, that situation up. So it's got a great um, reception, not only just in Atlanta, but all over America. A lot of people said they resonated with it. Amen. You know what I mean? Amen. A lot of people, that's me. Amen. I'm popular, but I'm lame. I don't hey. do all that what they be doing. Right. You know what I mean? So it resonated with a lot of people. So hey. we still early. We're on the three. We're going into our third year. Hey, man. Hey, mm-hmm. that's for the business. The legends are born. Legends are made, made. every day. Every day is about the work you put in. That's facts. Every day a legend is made. You know what? They were just talking. To you. I just heard a producer telling you that you got to slow down. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> but legends are made every day. Amen. So it's about the work that you put in every day. You know what I mean? Amen. Shh. Amen. So and I see you got a book too on um, prison, prayer, and poetry. Prison. Prayer, Tell us about poetry. that right there. Um, it's basically telling my life, you know what I mean, how I went from facing uh, 120 years to um, writing poetry and doing what I'm doing now. Go, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You were facing what? 120. Man. How, what was going through your mind when them folks said 120? Shh, I had to wiggle, poop, fart, poop, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I, I, I was 19, I had never been in trouble. You know what I mean? So I never been a juvenile. Mm. Had no did none of For that. Real? My first case wow, was, man. my first case was thirty well, I had thirteen charges. Aggravated assault, kidnap, on robbery. Every charge carried a twenty. Mm. Lord, have mercy. God shows you some grace and favor. He showed me a whole lot of mercy because that's why I picked up the, the um my mama gave me a book by Nathan McCall called Make Me Wanna Holler. Okay. And Nathan McCall, he had did time for on robbery at 18, about the same age I was. Mm. And he went on to write for the Atlanta Journal Constitution, the Washington Post. And so I kind of mimicked my life after dude. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. I like, damn, he could do it, I could do it. Amen. And Amen. I've been at it ever since. Amen. That's deep. Uh, for the people that don't know, I actually... You know, I actually know Nelson Trimmer from back in the day. We crossed paths. It sounds funny. You call me. Go and call me what you call me. You can call me Trump. I call him J. Ro. Okay. But uh, uh, Nelson Trimmer, I, well, I, I met him a couple of years ago, man. A couple, couple. When I say a couple of years, like over 10 years ago. And, you know, he was out there in the street. This was before Future. This was when Future was meathead. Guy. So, now, yeah, you got to get out. You, you, yeah. I know you don't want to tell our age, hey, but it was longer than 10. Yeah, it was been longer than 10. You're right. It's been it about 20. Future, future been out 15. Yeah, so it's been so about 20, 20 years yeah, ago. Yeah, it's been about 20. 20. So, yeah, so we uh, when folk Future blowed up, when Future was meathead, you know what I'm saying? You've seen all that right there. Yeah, you know, you know he saying? stayed across Mr. Quick. His granddaddy stayed across. <laughs> Across the street from my grandma, so Amen. we was on the same street. So yeah, so so growing up, man, you've been around a lot of celebrities. You've been around Block. You've been around uh, Carlos. You've been around Future. And ain't no telling who else you done been around. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Being a native from Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? I've seen a lot of people get their own, um, get their flowers while they were here. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So with all that being said, with you pushing your thing, your grind, how you feel like it's got to be your time. You know what I'm saying? You know. I feel like I feel like life. You know, life is a don't know. You know, we know all these people, but one thing I never did, I never jumped on anybody's bandwagon to get on. 
You okay. know what I mean? So I never rolled with low and low was with the music or the height of his music. I never tried to fit in and get myself in position. Uh, I never attempted to go um, um, meet up with future them. You know what I mean? I ain't never attempted. Well, I ain't gonna tell you I ain't attempted block block. I used to get I used to get that block but block, right. block, block you shit on me, boy. That ain't shit on me. Come to the studio. Yeah, they'll get to the studio. They like, what you doing in my studio, bro? You know what I mean? So you know what I mean. But that was when I was doing the music thing. But um. Life is like a don't know. Everybody gets a turn. That's right. You know what I mean? You just stay right. consistent and persistent. Amen. And you'll have it whether it's in your first year or your, or your 30th. Amen. You know what I mean? That's right. That's right. That's Good right. Shit. So from, from prison, prayer, poetry, how long you say you was in prison? Oh, I never been to prison. Okay, though. so you was just oh. facing prison. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, so that's a blessing. So you just slid all the way out. Man, I had three armed robbers in the Cal County. Never been to prison one time. Man, that's great. And I ain't had a snitch on nobody. That's great. Track rock. I could go to goddamn T.I. on paperwork party Amen. and all that. You Amen. know what I mean? Real <laughs> shit. <laughs> Amen. Hey, bankhead. Okay. Amen. Amen. Okay. That would be to see it, though, man. So, like, you know, if you was to give some knowledge or some tips for up and coming poetry, you say you do poetry. Right. You know what I'm saying? For a poet in the industry now, what kind of advice would you give them to, you know, to stay motivated and try to push the next level? I went to Atlanta Air Tech. I went to business class, marketing class you know, in Atlanta Air Tech. And um, my teacher, you know what I mean? I thought I was pretty dope at what I did. You know what I mean? I spit for him. And he told me this, and this is what I tell anybody who's into that lane. Find a way to make it cool. Hey, man. You know what I mean? Because... Uh, actually, that shit just be boring, man. It be it be it, it be boring. Right. Even though music is poetry, mm. you know what I mean. Music, song, poetry, but sometimes it becomes repetitive and it, it bores you out. So as a poet, I'm not even a I'm not even a, a spoken word artist or whatever who like to go to spoken word events and just oh you just be geeked up. Right. You know what I mean. You gotta make it fun for me. Right. One or two on, I be. Right. I'm trying to go in there. So the idea to try to make it exciting, give the people a reason to come back. Amen. Amen. That's what the business is, man. Well, definitely, man, definitely big moves. And we see you giving away $500 tonight, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we'll tell, you know, before we get ready to close, I'll tell the people a little bit about this. You do this often? Um, do it like once a month. It's the popular lane talent show. So we just try and type into the community in the way we can, whether it's through clothes, through music, through um, literature, um, through motivational speaking, children, however we can get in the community. We're just trying to get in there. And tonight we'll be giving away $500 at the popular lane talent show. Um, it's a dope event. It'd be some great talent. Um yeah, $10 to enter the contest. So, $10? Okay, you have how many shows you had? $10 when you file 100 That's a 490 that's a flip. That's a real flip. If you a hustler, you know what I'm real. You know what a real hustler, what I do? I say, man, look, I'm going to go get 10 of my buddies. And come. Go get them money. See, but, but we ain't even discuss that part. You know, it ain't even no judges. Oh, oh, man. Guess who the judge is? The crowd. The crowd. Amen. If they holler loud enough for you, you win the money. Amen. So you can't say, oh, it was real, though. It was real, though. We ain't doing none of that, bro. Amen. Y'all. You 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 swing the ground. That's what the business is, man. That's what the business is. Well, man, definitely looking at a, a bright future. You see what I'm saying? Amen. Not just for um popular lane, but for the up and coming popular lane. Because what I see is a whole community coming behind you. Come you on, know now. What I'm saying so. Amen. Definitely, we salute you on what you're doing. We thank you for coming to the Psycho Talk Podcast. Tell the people where they can find you at. You know hey. what I'm saying? First of all, let me tell you, thank you for having. Me at hey, 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 Thank you on Ebony Vision um, and everybody. Um, you can find me on Instagram at Popular Lane CEO or Popular Lane Clothing. Um, you can find me on Facebook at Nelson Trumbull. Trumbull with an I. You know what I mean? Hey, uh, Googleable. Just Google me. Hey, man. Song gonna pop up. Hey, yeah, man. Yeah. That's what the business is. Like I say, man, thank you for tapping in. If you're a small business or a big business, man, tap in with the Psycho Talk podcast. Let it come on on. Share your story with the world. Everybody got a story to share. You everybody. know what I'm saying? Some Your story can bless somebody else 
and motivate them to keep going when somebody might be feeling like stopping. You know what I'm saying? So Amen. We definitely appreciate you for coming by. You know what I'm saying? Amen. We can't wait to come and have you come by again. You know what I'm saying? Hey, let's Just get it. Everybody tuning in, man. All right. Hey, that way.